I know everyone says that they won't do it, but there's going to come a time where you're going to have to use high ISO on whatever camera that you're using. And when I mean high ISO, I mean above uh, ISO 1000 or ISO 3200, maybe even ISO 12800. So there are ways to combat this and actually make the footage usable. And I'm going to show you a before footage right now. This is shot um, on a GH2, but is applicable to uh, any camera that shoots high ISO. Um, this is 176 megabit, so I'm getting the most out of this super high ISO. But um, And this is an after of what it can look like fixed. So let me tell you about some of the tools that you can use to actually fix the footage. The first thing I did, and I've talked about this many times in many other videos, you can see uh, on this channel is neat video. Neat video is uh, a good option for cleaning up video. Now, with video from DSLRs or uh, video cameras, most of them have 420 uh, color sampling, which means that it's going to have very, very poor blue color reproduction at high ISOs. And the best color reproduction is going to be the color green. So, um, the, all the color information, uh, mostly when you, you denoise this footage, needs to be blurred or a function called chroma blurring that might be in your uh, editor of choice. The next thing that I ran on this, and I only did this on this particular bit of footage to make it look different, um, is a blurred lens flare effect from the Sapphire FX collection. I'm running this in Vegas. Is a, a GPU effect so it renders fairly quickly but no you wouldn't use this in all scenes but let's say I have to use this shot let's say that the shot that I showed you before has to be used so if I really have to use it um, I can add this effect and what I'm doing is adding I'm adding more color information on top of the image yes it's a flare but it helps uh, kind of diffuse the, the information behind it so I'm, I'm playing a trick I'm playing a trick in order to fix the image. And as you can see, uh, it helps uh, mask a lot of that ugliness. The final step that I'm going to add, and you don't have to use this program, is something that I use pretty often. It's Magic Bullet and the grain effect. Um, you can add color grain. I add uh, just a percent, maybe 2% of grain to, to footage. And if you're shooting 720p, up-res it to 1080p and add this uh, grain in, and it adds in a little extra detail. Now, why am I adding grain to footage that I degrained? Well, it's kind of it's better than an effect like an unsharp mask, but it does sort of the same thing. That grain is adding in contrast in a way, and contrast is what the eye sees as sharpness. So it's not something that will look unpleasing. It's not something that you'd think necessarily would look good, but it actually does. That little bit of uh, monochromatic grain in the background uh, gives it sort of a, a texture to glaze over all that ugly blurriness. And, you know, the end result is something that's a whole lot more pleasing than the original image. And that, in a nutshell, is an easy quick way to make usable footage out of high ISO footage, in this case 12,800. Um, and the more color information your camera has, the better footage you'll be able to get out of it.